Hey, welcome to a little tutorial video on OK iPad. Uh, today what we're covering is how to get pitch shifted guitars. Um, the guitar player, the main guitar player for, for Radiohead, uh, Johnny Greenwood, um, often uses a pitch shifter, or I believe a whammy pedal, potentially, uh, for this record. You can hear this in many different lines uh, in many different guitar solos. It's featured uh, right at the beginning of OK Computer uh, with the track Airbag. Uh, let's take a quick listen uh, to that track as those guitars come in. We'll, we'll, you can somewhat understand what we're talking about here. So you hear those guitars on the right there. If we listen a little more closely, what you'll actually hear if we pull those guitars out, a combination of both a low line and a high line. However, uh, that is achieved uh, in real life often with a pitch shifting pedal. Um, in this case, we can't do that. So one of the quick tips uh, to get around that if you are looking to uh, create that pitch shifting effect is just to uh, do your original performance and then shift all the notes up. You can see here the lower guitar actually has the lower line and this is the one that I recorded originally. Let's take a look at that in a little more detail here. So you can see it's just a loop. Starts at uh, D3 here, right there. Um, that sounds great, but I can't apply any sort of filter to that or any sort of uh, pitch shifting effect. But what I can do is I can just copy that performance, copy the guitar. Um, all the settings are the same, the pan, the EQ, everything. And uh, just shift those notes up uh, by one octave. Take a look here. You can see these notes are up at uh, D4 starting up here the same performance. And together, that'll give you a quick and dirty way uh, to get a pitch shifted effect. So there you go, that's how you would uh, get some pitch shifting done uh, if you're recording an album like this.